YouTubers and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hoppets in quite a familiar setting. You remember this place? <laughs> Where I shot these reviews back in the day. I'm at my mom's place today and I will be for the next, for the coming week and I have brought a few beers with me to uh, to review here in a nice old familiar setting. Hopefully I'll be able to shoot some beer reviews outside on the deck <clears throat> if the weather allows it, but it's raining right now and uh, yeah, I felt like a beer. And or actually, I had to drink this because on the way here, the bottles rattled around a little bit and uh, the cap slightly came off on this one, so had to crack it now. And uh, this one is another beer from Sean and Anya in Poland, so thanks a bunch to Sean and Anya for the beer. This is another beer in the Podroja Komorana series from Broar Komoran, and this is the Coffee Stout. It's only on 4.8% alcohol. And it's got a really cool logo again. The same guy, tr the travel of the travel log dude, with like something that looks like Ireland's Cliffs of Moher or something like that on the background. Really nice uh, label. I've been to Ireland, and it, yeah, it reminds me of that. So if you watch my reviews from like a year or two ago, I actually shot a few reviews there. I think I shot a beer review of a coffee stout at Cliffs of Moher actually. But it has a funny story here as well. A travel log of going to Ireland and experiencing stout. And uh, I think this is kind of their take on Guinness type stout, so a dry stout, but then they make it with coffee as well. So I got it poured, and wow, that's actually pitch black. <laughs> pitch black color, beige to it, still got the aroma. Whoa, <laughs> there's a lot of coffee on that. It smells like cold brew coffee. Cold brew coffee, uh, coffee um, dark chocolate, Toasty, roasty notes. Some sweetness, some oaty sweetness. Yeah. It smells pretty good. Not super complex, but it's also a 4.8% beer. So yeah, let's give it a taste. Cheers, and thanks a bunch to Sean and Anya for the beer. Wow, coffee bomb. <laughs> it's very much like an Irish dry stout. Just with a ton of coffee flavor. Much more flavor than your average dry stout. Because <laughs> it's so light in body, it's like a light medium body. It's got a creamy coating and chewiness, more so than Guinness actually. <laughs> and much more flavor than Guinness. Guinness isn't, in my opinion, that great. Uh, it's a good session beer, but not too much flavor. But it's still, it's still a solid beer. This is like Guinness amplified, because you get those kind of traditional toasty malty flavors, roasty malty, slight dark chocolate and stuff like that, but then an intense amount of cold brew coffee flavor. Like really hefty cold brew coffee, coffee bean, green coffee bean. Uh, almost like a slight hop note, a green hop note, I think. But that might just be the green coffee flavor as well that kind of confuses me, but. Mmm. It's very nice. It's not a mind blower or anything, but for a nice 4.8% easy going beer, it's pretty nice. I mean, 4.8% and then a lot of the coffee flavor. Maybe a little bit of dark fruit as well, but not super complex, but just a ton like coffee. It's almost like drinking cold brew coffee, if you've ever had that, actually. <laughs> so, kind of similar. So, yeah, rating wise for the Podroja Gormorana Coffee Stout. I'm going to go 85. It's a, it's a nice dry stout. It's pretty good. It's better than your average dry stout. And dry stouts are, to me, not really a cool style, except if you get them on nitro, then they can be nice. I think this on nit nitro would probably be a 90 plus because you'd get a bigger mouthfeel. But as it is now, right now, now let's bump it up to an 86. An 86, yeah, because it's pretty nice. It's pretty good stuff. It's just a little bit thin uh, compared to like other coffee stuff. I prefer like big imperial coffee stouts because you get that heftier body. But it's still a really nice beer. If you get the chance, I definitely recommend trying the Podroch de Cormorana coffee stout. The best in the series so far is actually still the bit beer, <laughs> which I didn't expect. But yeah, cool stuff. Thanks a bunch to Sean and Annie for the beer. You rule, guys. I uh, still qu have quite a few Polish beer left from them so, to review. So, also thanks, guys. Let me know what you think of this one if you've had a chance to try it. And as always, remember to come, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. And I want to say cheers and some delicious coffee stout. And see you guys in another beer review.